In this video, we will put some fruits in a bowl and cover them using a transparent cloth by using blenders on physics properties to create something like this. We gonna use rigid body physics to make the fruits fall into the bowl and cloth physics coupled with collision to make this cover which resembles a cloth. If you are not familiar with the physics simulations in Blender, let me give you a quick introduction. Blender is packed with several physics capabilities such as rigid body physics, fluid simulation, cloth simulation and so on. For example, take our default scene and delete everything except the default cube, add a plane to be the platform and scale it up, move the cube up. To make the cube a rigid body that responds to external forces and collisions, select the cube, go into the physics tab in the properties menu and select rigid body to assign. Hit play to make the cube animate. We can see the cube is falling in response to gravity, but it is passing through the plane because the plane does not have any physics associated with it. Select the plane and do the same. And now if we hit play, both will fall as expected. Change the type to passive to make the platform not move but respond to other rigid bodies. This is the basics. It looks like the cube falling slowly because the cube itself is 2 meters wide and the simulations are calculated according to the parameters like dimension, mass, etc. Let's get back to our project. The scene is already set up here with a bunch of fruits randomly placed on top of a bowl. In this video, I'm not going to cover modeling part of this object. You can also get them from the net as I did. In case you're wondering, this is the solid view with color set to texture, not render or looked up view. This is much better to visualize the texture with less computational demand. We need to put these fruits into the bowl Placing them individually using transformation can be a hectic process and they often produce intersections. That's why we are making use of rigid body physics here. Just like we practiced before, select the ball, go into physics tab and select rigid body and change the type to passive. Then select a fruit, do the same but keep it active because we need it to move. Now if we hit play, we can see the apple is not actually falling into the bowl and floating around. That is because in the physics settings of the bowl, we can see the shape is set to convex hull, which will make an optimized wrap around the object to perform better in simulation. In this case of the bowl, it ignores the concave inside part. That is why the apple is not falling inside. We need to change into mesh to tell Blender to consider the entire geometry. This is only relevant for object with inside geometry. Now if we hit play, it works just fine. Yes, the apple is sliding inside because of the low friction value. That's okay for now. Now I'm gonna copy rigid body settings of the apple to all other foods by selecting all Select the apple last to make it an active one or press shift and select it. It need to be in yellow outline to be the active selection. Now go into object, rigid body and select copy from active. This will copy rigid body settings of the active one to all selected objects. Play this and see all the objects going into the bowl. Let them move around and stabilize. Pause when you are happy with the arrangement. If not, try changing their initial positions by going into the first frame and make sure that objects are not intersecting. Okay, the falling animation is actually not needed for this project. So we need to lock them at the final positions preserving rigid body physics because we need to add some more fruits on top of this. For that, we need to apply its transformation. Press Ctrl A and apply visual transform. 
Well, now we need to make the objects passive to stop them moving around but still interacting with other rigid bodies. Change one of them to passive and select all with the changed one as active selection and copy its rigid body physics. Now we have frozen them in place like the ball. To make this more attractive, I'll add some grapes on top of it using the same steps. Delete the ones that are falling out of the ball. We are done with the rigid body section here. Now we are going to drop a cloth on top of this. But cloth simulation only interact with objects with collision enabled in physics. First, let's remove the rigid body from the object by selecting all, go into object, rigid body and remove. Now we need to add collision to all of them. There is no option to assign collision to all of them at once. One thing we can do is to join them as a single object by selecting all and pressing Ctrl J. But I'll show you another method that might be useful for you. For that, we need to enable an add-on pre-built in Blender by going into Edit, Preferences, Add-on and search for Copy Attributes menu and check the box. Select all of them with the one which collision enabled as active object and press Ctrl C, copy selected modifiers, click collision and OK. Now we have collision enabled in all of them. We only need collision for the ones which might touch our cloth while simulating. It doesn't matter much but still I'll remove it for the fruits that buried inside. Now we can move on to the final part which is the cloth simulation. With all collision objects set up, add an object for cloth. Here I need a circular cloth. So I'll add a circle to start with. Set the vertices to a higher value like 50. We need a lot of resolution for cloth simulation to behave like cloth. I will grid fill the circle to get a nice topology for better simulation which is not needed for something like a square or rectangular shape. Then subdivide it enough. I'm giving it three levels of subdivision. This looks good. Go into physics tab and select cloth to make this object a cloth. In the settings we have some presets like cotton, silk, rubber, etc. Try to play around with this. Here I'm going to choose cotton, which will change the parameters to make the object behave like a cotton. Change quality steps to something like 8 for better quality simulation. One more setting that we need to change is down below. Check the box for self collision to stop the cloth from intersecting with itself. Add a subsurf modifier after the cloth modifier for extra smoothness. Then hit play to simulate. Set shade smooth. Looks good enough. Go into the final frame and apply cloth modifier to lock its final shape. That's all about physics simulation part of this project. Now I'll speed up my shading process. I added a new material for the cover and replaced the principal BSDF with a glass BSDF to get this result. And the outer silver ring that you see is procedurally made using shader nodes. You can also get that by extruding the cloth object before simulation and assigning the outer faces to a different material. I added a simple backdrop to it, also added an HDRI for lighting. I will make another video focused on shading and structuring in the future. The project file of this video is attached in the description if you want to check that out. Please stay subscribed for more Blender related content.